Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm filming one of the most exciting videos of the new year, which are my best and worst luxury purchases of 2021. I hope you enjoy. Hi guys, so I just wanted to hop in on here and tell you guys that over 90% of you guys watching my videos aren't subscribed and it would mean the world to me if you guys can just hit that little button down below. It's free and you will always stay updated with my videos and let's continue. Today I'm going to share with you my best and worst purchases of 2021. I'm going to share with you shoes, accessories and SLGs. I thought we might start off with the worst purchases because I want to end on a more positive note. Plus, I only have three worst purchases in my collection, in my pile of things right below me. So I'm gonna just dive into the video right away and I'm gonna start off with my little, it looks a little bit <laughs> deep misshapen, my little Jacquemus Le Bob Ganjo little bucket hat. I have it in this gorgeous khaki color. It has a little bow on the back side, which kind of looks sad because I have been wearing it in the rain. And I'm gonna try it on for you guys. So, oh, like so. So you know what it looks like. Um, I would probably not style it that way, but um, this is a purchase that I did quite at the end of last year. And I bought this hat for around 100 euros, a little bit less. I bought it directly off of the Jacquemus website. And I was super excited because I love wearing bucket hats. I have um, a leather one or a fake leather one from H&M that I've been wearing. And I thought I would wear this a lot. Unfortunately, I haven't really worn this one that much. One of the reasons why being the color, I actually love this uh, rich khaki green color a lot. I wear actually a lot of um, like leggings in that color, so I thought that it would match perfectly with the hat. But I have found that the hat didn't really match all of my jackets that I own, so I haven't been wearing it a lot. Plus, it's not really that convenient when it's really cold because it doesn't cover my ears. So if it's really cold, I tend to grab something like a beanie or just like a little um, headband that covers my ears because those are the places that get cold the most. So this is more of like a fashion accessory more than something that I really use on a daily basis. And for that reason, it is in the worst category. I still don't really regret the purchase because it was around 100 euros, so it didn't really break the bank and I still think it looks cute, but I thought I would wear it so much more during the fall and winter time and I haven't really done that. And this is why it's maybe not the most ideal purchase of this year and therefore it is in my worst category. Off to another purchase that I've done at the end of this year and these are my Balenciaga Sunnies. I will show them. They're the BB Sunnies in this gorgeous shape and they have the BBs on the side if you can see and they really look extra cool. I will try them on for you guys and I will tell you the reasons why these aren't my most ideal purchase. These were actually my only sunglasses purchase of this year. Uh, I love sunglasses but I tend to only buy a couple of pairs here and there and I tend to have them for a long time. I really love Ray-Bans so I have a lot of Ray-Ban sunglasses that I just had for like years and years and years and these ones were the only ones that I decided to get this year. I actually got inspired to get these by Lorna Lux. I follow her on Instagram and she has these and they just look absolutely divine on her. And here's the problem. They are so like sophisticated and kind of edgy, which is not really my style. I just tend to dress more girly, more like florally, a little more like younger and fresher. And these are like really badass, like sophisticated, really cool girl chic. And this is not really my style. I want to have that style to be honest, but I don't. So um, this is why I haven't worn them much, um, unfortunately. Plus another point is that uh, through these, like uh, all the gold applications and the frame itself, they're quite heavy. I have an optician as a friend and she kind of shaped them for me so they would fit me a little bit better. But still like after wearing them a while, they get really heavy and it kind of is 
a little more uncomfortable so these are like the Jacquemus had a little more on the like fashion statement kind of realm and not really the best for everyday wear but I love to wear them on the top of my head they look really good and they didn't uh, they don't fall down so I just tend to wear them more as like a hat accessory rather than sunglasses plus they're also super super dark like the lenses are super dark so they would probably be better for like the spring and summer time especially if I'm deciding to wear like an all black outfit I think that will look super super cool but also with like a white linen shirt or something like that I still need to figure out like how to wear them they're not a total miss but for right now I haven't got anywhere out of them I've worn them like two times um, and I just tend to grab my other sunglasses um, over these ones I have a pair of Miu Miu cat eye sunglasses that I just love I love them so much and I also have the round Ray-Ban sunglasses that have that I added just like a gold little chain to it and I love these so much as well and they fit my style a little bit better but I'm still making a lot of effort to try and make these work for me and off to the biggest miss in this video. This is the worst purchase that I've made. And I'm super sad because they were so gorgeous. I don't even have them anymore to show you guys. So I will insert a picture or I think the unboxing maybe a uh, video maybe. But those are the Chloe Lauren sneakers. And I got them for a great deal off of Fashionat. I got everything, like all of my Chloe shoes, and I have four of them. I bought off of Fashionat because they have the best deals. They always have coupon codes that I use and they were just amazing but um, actually the Lauren sneakers I don't know what's wrong with them they fit me to begin with and then I started walking in them and I got the worst blisters on the back of my foot and I'm just thinking they're maybe a little too small I bought them in a size at 38 and yeah normally for like my Prada sneakers or other sneakers that would work perfectly but for these sneakers they're just a little too small there were with the most beautiful red burgundy applications and I just loved it I love how it said Chloe I love the different color in the sole and yeah I just love them so much but I give them to my mom and she likes them so I'm um, super happy so I guess it's not the worst pur purchase because I gave them to my mom and she likes them but for me I obviously didn't get anywhere out of them I wore them two times and they just hurt my feet so much but I bought something else this year that I didn't want to put in either category because I haven't worn them I showed them in my what I got for Christmas video and those are the Lauren sneakers again sorry I have them stuffed because I'm not planning to wear them anytime soon because it's winter in Germany and it's freaking raining and snowing the whole time so yeah those will get a lot more wear in the springtime but I just love them I bought these in a size 39 and I hope Hope these would replace the other ones that I have because I still love the style so much I think those are the most beautiful sneakers that Chloe manufactures at the moment but unfortunately the other ones didn't work for me so I hope these will alrighty and let's get away from all this negativity and talk a little bit of Dior so I have my first and only purchase of Dior this year and I will come a little closer and show you. These are my most beautiful Jadior little earrings. I will insert a close-up because you can't really see, but the other one looks exactly the same and they're so cute. I will be a little closer now because I'm gonna share with you all of the jewelry uh, items that I bought. Um, this year that were totally worth it and that I would buy again in a heartbeat but these Jadior earrings I just love so much because first of all I got them during our honeymoon we were flying to Dubai and we had a little pit stop in Istanbul and if you've ever been to Istanbul it's the best airport for shopping they have all the stores they have Bottega they have Louis Vuitton they have Dior, um, Prada, all of these places, I think even Chanel, although I've never been into a Chanel store because I'm too afraid. But yeah, I bought these with the most loveliest sales associate. She was so nice and she gave me because she saw that I had a little uh, bracelet that said bride and she gave me like some extras with it and the packaging was just 
Oh, amazing. I love Dior pack packaging. I'm such a sucker for beautiful packaging and I think Dior is really really up there with the packaging and I just love how dainty they are but still they're kind of a statement. I think most people wouldn't recognize it's uh, Dior. It, I mean although it says Ja Dior it's like just, just like smaller so I think a lot of people won't even net recognize but I think they're so classic with the pearl but they're also a little bit edgy and I can wear them on an everyday basis like I wear them so much they go with everything else that I'm wearing on my ears I have like as you guys can see I have quite a lot of earrings like here and I just loved them with it I I just think they're super gorgeous I think they were 310 euros in Istanbul I think I got a little bit of a bargain there I have no idea what they called like I have no idea but I just love them a lot and off to some other jewelry pieces so I got this little beaded Tiffany & Co bracelet I hope you can see that so it just has like the typical return to Tiffany emblem and on the back side it's turquoise and turquoise has been and always will be probably my favorite color. I just love turquoise so much. Um, I love like blues and like greenish blues um, a lot. Anyway, I have like a whole wall painted in petrol and like on the side of the room you can't see but um, everything else like all of the accessories and things like that I always tend to grab in this color because it's just my favorite it just makes me happy it reminds me so much of like the beach and I don't know just like happy times so I just love the color and I always wanted this bracelet for some reason even though it's silver I wear I mean I wear mixed metals my engagement ring and my um, stacking ring are both like platinum and white gold and then obviously I have the Trinity ring which is a tricolor and then I have my wedding band my Cartier wedding band and another stacking ring in rose gold so I have like all of the colors and then my necklaces and earrings are mostly gold so I have like all of the colors but this one I just think it's so dainty honestly since I got it I've never taken it off only for a couple of Instagram pictures that I needed to shoot for some brands but other than that I never took it off and it's just like perfect it fits with all of the other accessories I will show you in the second what I mean and it's just like carefree it's just I don't know I just like it a lot it fits my wrist really well because it's quite small and I have smaller wrists and to me this is just like such a nice piece it doesn't break the bank I think it's 260 euros and it also comes in a beautiful ballerina pink or in a red I think as well or plain silver whatever you prefer and I feel like this is such a nice gift as well like if you're a guy and you're looking for a present or like something for your girlfriend or for your wife then I think almost every girl would be happy about this bracelet and I just think it's so special and and I'm so glad that I have pulled the trigger finally because I wanted this for so long and I never gotten around to getting it and then I just went into the city with one of my friends and she said oh let's pop into Tiffany and I just got out with this little bracelet and I'm happy about it all right and off to the next piece of jewelry or the last piece of jewelry in this video which is no other than my H click click bracelet I think it's called or H click bracelet by Hermes I got this in a rose gold with a white and I like to wear it over this little bracelet and I just love the combo I think it's so cute I don't mind it the hardware not matching I'm not that fussy about that I know a lot of people are but I'm not so yeah I just like to wear it that way and it makes me super happy I wanted this bracelet since like 2000 and 16 or 17 and it was always really expensive but I yeah one day decided like let's just get it you've wanted it for so long and I have a whole unboxing so I will link it down below I link everything down below if I have reviews of anything or hauls I will link everything down below so um, if you want to see the items in more detail you can do so in these videos but yeah the Hermes H click clack bracelet it's just my my jam it's I think it's probably the my favorite purchase of this year because uh, first of all it's my first Hermes and second of all it's like so special and like I don't know it's just 
the the feeling of it i i just love it i don't care if a lot of people have it 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 just makes me happy so uh, it's it's my version of the cartier love bracelet that i will probably never buy because it's so expensive so i have this and i'm happy about it and yeah i'm also really happy about the combination that i got i would really like to add another one down the road but not in the foreseeable future but maybe in a couple of years time maybe i'll add another one yeah and i highly recommend them to anyone i just checked and i saw that i only bought one slg throughout this year i hope i'm not forgetting something because that would kind of suck but this is my next beauty that i wanted to talk about and this was my rosalie wallet i got this for myself for my birthday and i've been using it ever since then so um since october the beginning of october and i got this little wallet in the combination monogram and rose ballerine and um, it also obviously i'm currently using it so it has my cards i need to cover this up because uh, it's my bank card but yeah so this has the rose ballerine interior and then it has a slot for money have some monies in there and then it also has a zippy pouch for your coins and then this little press button and i really like it i was debating between getting this and the victorine wallet i might still get the victorine wallet as well because it is significantly bigger and i actually like the bigger size as well just to like switch out if you need to carry more because in this one actually i don't fit all of my gift cards or like rewards cards and things like that that i have and i always also uh, take out the coins so um, it's not that bulky but yeah i'm a cash kind of person um if you're just like a person that carries minimal cash and uses a lot of more cards this is like sufficiently enough but i think the victorine wallet is better if you're a cash person and i always pay in cash i pay everything in cash i don't like paying with the card because then i can't really keep track of my money so maybe i'll add the victorine wallet down the road but i'm also really really happy about my zoe wallet oh and i also forgot something i don't know if this is considered luxury or not but i have bought the apple watch se at the beginning of the year um, i got the rose gold face and the pink strap and i've been wearing it every day i think there hasn't been it, maybe in my honeymoon there has been a couple of days that i haven't worn it but other than that i wear it every day and i love how it tracks my steps i love how it tracks like how many calories i burn i get really motivated because i i'm also connected to my friends that also own this watch so we can kind of like get a little challenge like who does more workouts and things like that and it's really motivating and i just really like it also like i don't have I, I mean i don't have a car anymore because it's broken but in my mom's car i don't have like the surround system speaker so i like that i can call somebody on the watch and have it on loudspeaker because it's yeah a lot safer than uh, talking on the phone um so i just like hold my hands on the wheel like that and i can just like talk like that and i think it's really easy for me and yeah i love the other features that this watch has but i'm super happy about the apple watch tell me down below if you have an apple watch and if you like it because i only know people that like their apple watch i've never heard that somebody doesn't like it so i would be really curious if you have one and if yes how do you like it how does it work for you yeah tell me down below and let's move on to the last accessory and then we're talking shoes all right my last accessory i haven't gotten this um long ago um and this is my little gucci gg scarf and this beautiful like it's like between beige and gray it's like a grayish and i just really like it it's a, like dual toned like from this side it's a lot lighter and then here's a lot darker you can clearly see the difference so this is the dark side this is the light side and it's like a really huge scarf so you can just like wrap it around like this and i've worn it like this and i've worn it so much already i haven't gotten it long ago i've bought it in my metzingen luxury haul i will link it below and i just really like it i have I, like i already own this scarf in like a dark 
gray almost black color and I've worn this one to death. I've worn this one so much so I thought it wouldn't like her to add another one of these to my collection and I'm super happy about it. This one was also not too expensive. I paid 200 euros for it so I think this was fine and yeah I just really like it. To me it's really comfortable, classy and I know I will be wearing it for years and years and years so it's definitely worth it for me. I'm not a luxury scarf kind of person. I think I would never spend the money on a Louis Vuitton scarf because I just think it's insane and I know that they snag and things like that so I'm happy with my Gucci one and maybe I will add another one to my collection that also has like a different like a more beigey type beige not as gray heavy but yeah I'll see if I'm in the outlet I don't know if you guys even care about this but I wanted to tell you anyway I'm actually doing a no buy January so I'm not buying anything like shopping related like anything unnecessarily basically so I'm just trying to spend my money on like groceries and maybe some social activities if I'm doing something but I don't want to like buy anything that I don't need because I want to be more mindful with my money that's one of my new year's resolutions I want to be just a little more mindful and spend my money a little more wisely plus I'm planning to fly to the US in like April time so I want to save up for there because I know I'm gonna be shopping like I love American clothes and they're just a lot more affordable than in Europe they have such great outlets and I'm really looking forward to go there so I just need to save up my money money a little bit so don't be expecting any hauls in the first foreseeable future from me I'm just doing like reviews and things like that but I have really cool videos planned so uh, stick around but no hauls in the uh, next time I don't want to encourage like anyone I don't want to do too many hauls anyway because I don't want to encourage any of you to spend more money than you usually would um, I mean it's cool if you get inspired and I love watching hauls of other people don't get me wrong but I always feel so triggered to buy a couple of pieces here and there and it's just not good my closet is overflowing I'm pretty sure your closets are overflowing as well so yeah that was just my thought process behind it so let's move on to some boots these are the Gucci rosy high boots Ta-da! I bought them also in the outlet and I've actually found them on Freshnet and they retail for 980 euros. I have no idea, I, like I had no idea and I got them for 340 and I love them. They're so classy, they're so sexy and like oh, I had a friend, like I wore them, we went to a sushi place and I wore them and she's like, oh, I love your shoes, like where are they from? And they, she didn't even notice they were Gucci. I mean it's kind of obvious but kind of not because it's also the old Gucci logo and I think a lot more people gotten used to the new one so she didn't notice anyway and she was like oh where are your boots from they look such nice quality and that's something that we want like we want people not to recognize oh that's Gucci that's blah blah even though obviously I love monogram but they I want like I just want quality and craftsmanship and I have this like I, I get this with these boots and I'm so happy. They're also so comfortable. The first time I wore them, I walked like five kilometers in them and I was totally fine. No blisters, no sore feet, nothing like that. So super, super good quality boots. I will have them for forever. I will resole them once they're um, walked down. They have a rub rubber sole, not a leather sole, so they will wear a lot more nicely than um, a leather sole, but everything else is leather and I just think they're gorgeous, classy, and I think I scored a really, really great deal with these. <laughs> and up to the last item, I think, yeah, up to the last item that I bought in 2021 that is in my best category and those are these cuties. I have the Chloe Woody sandals in white already. I bought them in 2020 and then I love them so much so I bought the pink ones. They're in the color delicate pink and I bought them in the I think in the springtime 
or maybe like it was February or something like that. I got them for 20% off because I get all of my shoes at 20% off, uh, all of my Chloe shoes at least, because I always buy them on Fashionette and that's sponsored guys. I, I don't know if I have to say that, but I just like, if you're from Germany, and you want Chloe shoes, buy on Fashionette. I tell that to all of my friends because they always have 20% and they always apply to these shoes. Anyway, so I got these ones as well because I wore my white ones so much and no regrets. You need to break them in, but they're not uncomfortable, guys, because I watched so many reviews of these and I did my own review and they're not com uncomfortable. You just have to be patient for a little bit Break them in, don't wear them for too long at the beginning. Wear them just for an hour and then stretch it out to two hours and they will become really comfortable. And I think they're so cute. They go so well with my summer wardrobe and they just like, they're a statement, but they're also understated enough that I could wear them with like pattern stuff and things like that. And I think, I don't know, I just like them a lot. I don't know like if people are over them already because um, they've been so popular for the last years. I'm definitely not over them. I just adore them. I wanna wear them the whole time. In fact, I'm already buying so many summer things. If you've seen my what I got for Christmas video, it's all like summer things because I'm so over winter already. I'm not a winter type person at all. I don't like the cold. I don't like snow. I like snow for maybe like two weeks and then I'm over it. So I'm really, really hoping it will be a little bit warmer very soon so I can wear at least my new pretty sneakers. You guys want to see them again? Oh, I can't wait to wear them. I think they're so cute and I can do this because they're new like no they haven't touched the floor yet I, I know people get like roast out I'm gonna wash my hands afterwards but people get like roast out if you touch like the bottom of your uh, shoes which is kind of disgusting but I'm gonna wash my hands <laughs> all right so anyway I hope you guys really enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up I actually have like a rate of 90 percent of people watching my videos that are not subscribed and I think even over so please please uh, consider subscribing it's free and it really helps me out and helps my channel grow and enables me to do a lot more videos for you guys so I hope if you liked it you will consider subscribing and thank you so much for watching I hope to see you soon in my next video bye guys <laughs>